Welcome to the Chiropractic Authority. This is Dr. Aaron Tressler. And this is Dr. Kyle Muir. We believe every chiropractor should be the health authority in their town. To be the health authority, you've got to reach the masses. Because most Americans are overweight, obese, chronically sick, or on meds, the most powerful way to help them is through principled chiropractic care and a principled weight loss system. Each week, we give you the tools to combine chiropractic care and a principal weight loss program into one system to see the fastest results for your patients and your practice. Our one-of-a-kind system is different than anything else out there. Go to thechiropracticauthority.com to check it out for yourself. Let's rock. Hey, welcome to the Chiropractic Authority. This is T-Bone Tressler. And this is Dr. Kyle Muir, Meerkat. So guys, today we are going over lifetime patients. How do you create them? This is just part one. But the whole thing around lifetime patients, all chiropractors, we all want to have those patients that come into our office, they see and they fall in love with chiropractic, they get their spouse checked, they get their kids checked, they get their whole family under care, and then they stay with you for years and years and years and years. But how often does that really happen in your office? Think about it. How many patients do you have in your office that, first of all, come in and they love chiropractic? And then two, not only do they love chiropractic, they understand chiropractic, and they convince their spouse to come in who doesn't know anything about chiropractic. And then their spouse understands. And then from there, they get their kids to come in to get adjusted. So obviously, we're not really talking about symptoms because most kids typically don't have any symptoms. At least the ones that come to our office, they don't have a lot of symptoms, right? So how do you convince a parent or how do you teach them to understand that they have confidence that chiropractic is good for their kids? And then, you know, the cracking or whatever, because we've heard that from, oh, I don't want my kid cracked. It's like, you, you you don't understand what chiropractic is if you don't want your kid cracked. And then from there, get them to stay under care, pay for care, first of all, then stay under care for a year, then two years, then three years, then 10 years, then 15 and 20 years. I mean, how many patients do you have in your office if you've been out for that long that have been with you the entire time of all the patients that you've seen? Yeah, and you're going to think we're crazy when we say this, but when we have a weight loss patient that comes in, we're thrilled. It's easier. It's way easier to get them on this lifetime journey than it is somebody coming in for pain or strictly chiropractic. And we'll go through this as we go through these uh, these podcasts, how simple it is and how powerful it is. So you don't, you, you, they don't walk into your office wanting lifetime care. You create them. They don't want to come into your office wanting a three-month correction program. You create that. They don't come into your office saying, I want multiple visits. Right. You create that. They, they come in and they're thinking, my insurance pays. It's a $20 copay. One adjustment will fix everything, and you don't need anything anything else done. So you have to create that. Um, it all starts with the first conversation. So docs, if you're not training with your staff on how to answer the phone, on how to how to talk to the patient, how to uh, excite the patient, that your office is not only unique and different, but it's it's powerful. That has to come from the first time they they talk on the phone. If your staff isn't congruent with what your office does, meaning they're not getting adjusted, if they are not doing rehab and home rehab, or if they haven't gone through that, if they don't believe in and they don't have their family getting adjusted, then don't have them answer the phone. Ha I don't know what you'd have them do. Maybe right. clean, the, clean the office. But, <laughs> you know, you can't, they're not congruent with you. If that's what you're teaching and they're not, get rid of them. Yep. Get rid of them. So... It, it, it has to start with everyone's congruent, first of all, then they can answer the phone. And if they're passionate, I'd rather have a passionate staff member that is not educated on even chiropractic, just, just fired up about chiropractic, or has a degree in anything. I'd rather have somebody passionate and excited than somebody with three degrees and wants, you know, it's just in business. I want them to understand my, my, the vision with chiropractic. And the philosophy and the, and the drive and why they need to get their kids adjusted. So Yeah, the whole purpose of the first phone call, the first contact is the people are looking for you. They're looking for help. <clears throat> and when they come to your office, you know, how many other chiropractors are in the area around you? I mean, we probably have seven and like, not, I could throw a football 
to probably seven different offices around our, our office right now. So, I mean, they're all over the place, and they're all doing something different. I mean, we have a guy that just does laser right down the street. We have another person who just does AK. We have another person who has acupuncture. We have another person that does tens and ultrasound stim and all that good stuff. You know, like, they're doing all different things. They're not doing correction. They're not me. They're not Dr. Tressler. You know, so the phone, the phone call is when they're, they stumble upon your name or they search you out because they heard about you or they saw you or whatever it is. The first contact that you have with them, you have to set the tone or your staff has to set the tone of, listen, this is what we do. This is why we do it. This is who we do it for. These are the results that we get. And this is how we can help you. Right? It's basically your EOS. So if you yeah. haven't listened to our podcast on the EOS, go back and listen to that. Powerful stuff, But guys. that EOS, that explanation of services, you need those people who are calling you to understand what you do and why you do it. Because let's say in our office, for instance, right? So we only, well, we only, we do corrective exercises in our office, corrective rehab, CBP stuff, Pedamon stuff, and adjust. We do not do... Uh, TENS units, ultrasound, hot, cold, like laser. We don't do any of that in our office. So when someone calls our office, a patient calls our office, and they say, hey, I'm looking for a chiropractor. Okay, great, blah, blah, blah. You know, my, my chiropractor, I love the TENS and ultrasound that they do in, in our office or in their office, but I can't go see them anymore. We already know that that person probably isn't a good fit for our office. If that's all they're looking for. So to save them time and to save our time, we tell them, listen, this is what we do. We believe God created an amazing body because your body has the ability to thrive and heal. Live 80 to 120 years without pain, symptoms, drugs, surgeries. You know, And we believe that because, and then we just go into it. And if, they, if they're on the phone and they hear that and they're like, well, I'm actually just looking for like a, a quick adjustment and you know, maybe some ultrasound. Listen, Mary, I'm sorry, but this may not be the best place for you. This probably isn't the best office for you. And then we do them a favor and do us a favor. Because, I mean, how many patients have come into our office where they're just strictly, they just talk about pain, pain, pain. I, like, want to shoot myself in the face. Because I'm like, that's not what, what our office does. I don't want them to be in pain, but I also want them to understand that their their health isn't just based around their pain. Yeah, and a nice a, a move that you can do, and our staff knows this, if they say that, um, hey, I just want to I want to lose weight. What, how much is your program? I, I don't want to take herbs. I don't want to come in often. Um, I just want to do what that guy did down the street and, you know, burn my weight off with a laser. Can you do that? Now, we say, no, we don't, we don't do laser. You be up front with them, just like Dr. Muir said. We don't do STEM. We don't do this and that. Um, and then you throw a question. You say, well, John, let me ask you, how much weight are you looking to lose? Or... Um, you, you know, why are you seeking us out? If you're in pain, what, what's, what's going on? And then they say, we, you know, I've had low back pain for, you know, 16 years, and the stem was the only thing that gave me relief. Oh, that's interesting. But you still have it. Yes. Okay. Well, we don't do stem, but we've helped a lot of people correct their back pain and live pain-free once we figure out what's necessary. Oh, well, you think you can help me? And we say... We don't know. You have to come in. Well, do you think you can help me lose weight if you don't do the laser thing? Uh, we've helped a lot of people lose 50 pounds and more. Um, well, I don't know. you got to come in, and we got to see if you're the right, right candidate, the right fit for our office. So then now if they do decide to come in, they're coming in on your terms, not, I thought you did STEM. You told me that you, know, you were very exactly. similar to that other guy. Exactly, yeah. So you have to set up the culture of your office, like, what you do and why you do it. That way they understand. Because like I said, you want, I, I was watching this video the other day of Dr. Zaino. I mean, he's the man. He, he said something that I thought was really cool. He said, do you ever have any, any days where a patient comes in and like every time you see this patient, you're like, oh God, here comes Jimmy again. Jimmy, every time Jimmy talks about his low back in the same spot and he complains about this and this or here comes Mary. Mary talks to me for 30 minutes every time she comes in. I can't. I have to go adjust other people. If you have patients coming in your office that literally like drain the energy out of you, I mean, how good does that feel? Hmm. That sucks. But then on the flip side, you have some patients where you see like Larry, this guy that comes into our office. 
every time I see Larry, man, I'm like in a good mood. I'm ready to like hit him with some chiropractic. I'm like, dude, Larry's ready because he's open. He loves to hear about it. He understands it, you know. And every time I see him, my energy just goes up. So Dr. Zeno was talking about, well, what if you had a whole office full of Larry's or of whoever you're thinking of of your patients versus a whole office or half an office of those people who put you in the opposite direction and, and drain you of energy, you know? You can create that. You're the one that chooses who you do and do not take care of, right? So I'm not telling you, you know, to only see one person a week because that's the only person in your office. But when you set a culture, you can get more and more of your favorite patients into your office. They'll literally be drawn into your office because Larry has friends that act just like him that he could send into the office or he has family members that he could bring into the office. Yeah, and like, like, you said, Kyle, it, it, you create that with your process as well. Larry didn't come in on fire, excited to get under chiropractic care for a lifetime. He right. came in to lose weight. Yep. He saw our weight loss thing, came in to lose weight, and heard our, the, the program and said, my God, this is amazing. I've never heard this in my life. Had we not explained it properly, and this is what we teach in our program, there are certain things to say that you have to say. If you miss them, you blow it. And then you go through that process, that's the, the chiropractic authority uh, coaching, it walks you through, hey, hello, this is what you say. Hey, hello on the phone, this is what you say. Day one, what your staff says, what you say. You have to have that down. If you just go in and wing it, you're not creating anything. You're creating a monster. So when they do come in, so you know, you get the phone call to staff, you're congruent, you're 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 lined up with your mission, your staff is lined up with your mission. When they do come in on a day one, First of all, you better know when they come in. So if they're coming in at 10 o'clock, like we had a lady today, her name was Carolyn. She was scheduled for 11 o'clock. Somebody new came in at 11. Our staff stood up, hi, you must be Carolyn. Yes, she was impressed right out of the gates. Now, if your staff says, hi, can I help you? I'm Carolyn. Oh, Carolyn. Oh, you're the new patient. Man, that's a disconnect. Yeah, that sucks. And I'm like, if I were if I were Carolyn, I wouldn't want to come back. Right. So we'll just kind of walk you through what Carolyn did today. So Carolyn, you know, she gets the paperwork. She's filling the paperwork out. She's excited. After that, the staff goes in and explains testing procedures. Gets all the all the OPQRST stuff. You know, yeah. all the accidents. The where's it hurting? The pain. And then you have to get goals. And this is, this is what we found. Dr. Zeno, again, we've mentioned him a lot. We've trained with a lot of his stuff. Um, the goals are really important. So what they told the staff and what they told me, two completely different things. And if you get this, guys, this is worth weight in gold. This is going to transform your practice if you can get this, this down and do it right. So what she told my staff, she told Emily is, Hey, I want to lose weight. I want to lose about 70 pounds um, to get fit when I, you know, turn 55 next year. Uh, I have struggle um, with my husband because he's disabled, so I have to take care of him. And if I don't hit my goals, I'm going to probably have a heart attack. And she's committed on a nine. So when staff went in and, and questioned her about that, she's, you know, that's pretty much what she said. Well, you know, I have to do a lot with my husband. I just want to lose weight. Um, I want to feel better. And that was about it. You know, good start, but not the right goal. So when I asked her, I said, Carolyn, you know, why do you want to do this? What's going on? What's what's happening? Um, she said, uh, I just can't live like this. And I said, well, I'm going to explain some things here about chiropractic in a minute. But I want to know, what's why did you come in today? What is driving you in today to get results? Because you you have headaches three times a week. You have arthritis. Two years uh, of arthritis. High blood pressure is now kicked in. TMJ is kicked in. Overall, you've gained weight and you, you feel lousy. When I said that, she starts bawling her eyes out. She starts crying. I don't mean to get emotional. I'm sorry. And I said, no, you have to get emotional. You have to have a goal that's going to drive you to succeed. And I said, why did that make you emotional? She's, and her thing was, well, I'm just falling apart. If I continue going like this, I won't be able to take care of my husband. 
I need to take care of my husband. He's disabled. I said, okay, now we're on to something. Now, and so at that point, I say to her, Carolyn, and we explain what chiropractic is and what our weight loss program is. I'm not going to go through all those details, but you explain what your office does. And I said, Carolyn, here's what I'm going to tell you is through our testing and through our exam and x-rays, we're going to find if and how we can help you. If this is a muscle problem or something simple, so there's not much we can do. But if it's a spinal problem and it's putting stress on your spinal cord and nerve system, shutting off energy to your hormones, glands, into your muscles, to your heart for high blood pressure, we find that stress and we can help you, I said, I guarantee you we're, we're going to help you. I said, it takes two things. I said, it takes us finding a plan and finding the reason why you're not succeeding. And I said, and we're going to work our butt off to correct this for you. But it also takes your effort. You have to be all in and go at this. I said, are you committed if we find a plan to fix this and correct this? Yes. And she was excited. She was so excited because now she's not seeing, I'm going to lose weight and feel better. I'm going to lose weight, regain my health, get rid of my blood pressure and arthritis. This is all possible. I'm going to regain my energy. I'm going to have strength to take care of my husband. This is all possible. And my life is going to change. And I'm not going to have to die early. And I'm going to take care of my husband. He's going to live longer. Now we have a goal. You see how you have to extract that from them and get that. You have to give them your vision, your goals. Here's another example. An earlier patient this morning, a new patient, was one of our pe best patient's daughters. So you wonder, like, how did, why couldn't we get her in all these yeah. years? Mm -hmm. She finally came in, and she told the staff, you know, what are your goals? Well, I just want to feel better. Okay, do you want to lose weight? Yeah, I'd like to lose weight, but, you know, not that big of a deal. Um, how's your pain and your headaches? Well, I, I get pain and headaches, but I'm learning to live with it. She kept minimizing, minimizing, minimizing. So I go in. And I say, well, you know, what's, what, what are your goals? You have head, headaches and neck pain three days a week. Uh, you've been having it for years. Um, why did you decide today to come in? So I, I just, I want to get rid of this. It'd be nice. I said, well, what is it doing to you? You know, why did you decide to come in? She goes, well, it's just make me uncomfortable. <laughs> she said, I just like to feel better. And I said, well, you could feel better with, by taking drugs every day. And you'll feel fine. She looked at me kind of weird, like, why would you recommend that? And she goes, well, I don't want to take drugs. And I said, why? Why don't you want to just take drugs? And she's looking at me with like cross eyes like, why are you trying to put me on drugs? And I, because I said to her, I said, you need to know the reason why. And I need to know. So we can help you reach your goals. I said, I'll tell you this. I'm not for drugs. But there's a very strong reason why I'm against drugs. But I want to know why. Why? Why? Because you're going to have to put forth effort to correct this. If we find a plan that can help you, there's going to, there's going to be effort. And she says, well, I just, I don't want to live like this. And, and all of a sudden, she stopped and started, I, you know, and I asked her, what about 5, 10, 15 years from now? And it wasn't getting much until she finally stopped and tears started to come out of her eyes. She got all puffy. Eyes got red, started crying, handed her the tissue. And I said, oh, we, we I said, I tapped into something. I said, what, what was it? What, what, did, why are you crying? She goes, I don't want to, I don't want to live with cancer. And that's our patient, her mom, battled cancer with us and beat it, beat the crap out of it and came back and, and is living an extremely healthy life. And I, I said to her, and I said, oh, you don't want to have cancer and go through cancer even though your mom beat it, even if to have that. She goes, no, I can't do that. She goes, I don't want to do that. I can't. She's bawling her eyes out. And I said, see, I said, that's going to drive you to succeed, not feeling uncomfortable, but you don't want to have cancer. And I'll tell you this, if we find stress on your spinal cord nerve system and she's about 60, 70 pounds overweight and we find a program that can help you, you're going to pretty much eliminate the risk of cancer by about 90 to 95%. She said, oh my gosh. Oh, thank you. Now it came, now it completely turned around, but I got her goals. She, and then I told her our vision you know, what we expect. So if they're not hearing your goals and your vision and what you expect and you're not extracting their goals and they don't, you don't know why they're really coming in, you're going to have a real tough time closing them and creating a lifetime patience because lifetime patients have to 
pay that first payment. Mm -hmm. They have to make a payment to become a monthly patient or a three-month patient or a six-month or a year patient to ever even have a chance of a lifetime patient. So if you can't sell them at the report of findings, there's, they're not going to become a lifetime patient. So these steps are critical. Don't think that it's just in your report of findings and you need to scare them with, you know, how medicine is killing them. You need to set this up with a phone call, staff talking to them, day one, what testing you're going to do, the vision, and the goals. And When you get their deep-rooted goals, and we always say, hey, I got another one to cry. And we say it jokingly, not, you know, we're not... Right. Not malicious or anything. <laughs> we just want to know because, like, once they once they get emotional like that, then you know, like, you're actually reaching a goal of theirs. You're reaching something that's that, what they really, that they're gonna really do want. whatever they can to get to that point. And we don't manipulate them with it. Like, I know some of these coaching groups and stuff. They'll they'll say you get their goals and you use it. It's like like I'm not telling you, you know, if you don't eat perfectly and exercise for the rest of your life, then you're going to get cancer just like your mom. I would never say that to them, but I do tell them, listen, like your goal is to this, this, and this. In order to get the highest level of health possible, you need to get adjusted. Absolutely. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You have to get adjusted. Subluxation is the most dangerous thing that you'll come into contact with in your entire life. Subluxation, disease, right? Any, I mean, you can get into the cancer and how you know, mutated cells. Mutated cells happen because there's a misconnection. Why else would there be mutated ones when all the other ones were replicating perfectly? You know, like there had to be some disconnect. So you can relate any disease known to man to subluxation and pressure on the nervous system and stress on the nervous system. So if you don't take care of that, yeah, you are going to have a higher risk of getting cancer and heart disease and diabetes and reflux and all these other things, high blood pressure, whatever. So... What we do then is after we get those goals, Dr. Tressler will take them over to the x-ray room and then I go into the x-ray room because if there's more than one doc in your office, all the docs in the office have to be having a connection with that patient. Otherwise, you know, it'll just be like one doc practice and one doc practice. Because I mean, we used to do something like that. Mm -hmm. We used to do where I would do a day one with a patient, and then I would do their x-rays, and I would do their closing on the second day. And then Dr. Tressler would do the day one and then do the x-rays and do that other person's close. And what we found was because, you know, Mary only talked to me, and Stephanie only talked to Dr. Tressler. Then when we went to do adjustments and that, they felt connections with us. So they felt like, I can only see Dr. Muir because he knows what's going on. Or I can only see Dr. Tressler. So if there's more than one doc in your office, please don't do that. Make sure both of you get a connection. Otherwise, you're totally screwed because what happens if you go on vacation? Then the other, <laughs> then the other people don't come in. Right? So it's very, very important for that to happen. So... When we go in to take the x-rays, so I will go in and I'll form a connection with them. I'll tell them, listen, you know, Dr. Tressler told me you have blah, 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 whatever's going on with them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some x-rays of you so we can see exactly what is going on and to see if and where there is stress on your nervous system that could be causing whatever they have going on. I take their x-rays. You know, we'll do the motion x-rays, lateral, A to P, whatever we're taking. And then after they're done, I say, okay, come on out, uh, oh, Carolyn. So come on out, Carolyn, uh, like I was talking to her today. And I said, I said, Carolyn, what we're going to do is Dr. Tressler and I are going to go over these x-rays. We're going to study them. We're going to see exactly what's going on, where it's going. And notice I said Dr. Tressler and I. I didn't say I'm going to go over your x-rays, even though I'm doing her day two, because she wants to know that both of us are looking at it. Two heads are better than one. Or if I just said, Dr. Tressler is going to look at your x-rays, then why would she come see me? You know? So anyways, you want to make it as congruent as possible. So then I say, all right, so Dr. Tressler and I are going to go over your x-rays. We're going to see exactly what's going on. And if you have stress on your nervous system, like we suspect you do, we will come up with a game plan to correct that. So when we correct that, that takes pressure off the nervous system so your body can heal and thrive. So these headaches and neck pain and weight and whatever can be a thing of the past. How does that sound? Oh, that sounds abs That sounds wonderful. Great. Now, Carolyn, your husband has to come back with you to go over all of these findings. Because what I'm going to do on your next visit is I'm going to sit down with both of you and I'm going to show you exactly what we look for in a normal healthy x-ray. I'm going to teach you what a normal healthy x-ray looks like so that when you see your x-ray, you'll have the confidence and understanding that 
your x-ray is not normal and you'll see exactly what's going on with yours not me just telling you because personally for me on a side note I'm not a tell me person I'm a show me like you know if you're gonna if you're gonna teach me how to bench 400 pounds you better be able to have bench 400 pounds otherwise I'm not listening to a word that you say if you have a perfect curve in your neck if you have an ideal spine Dr. Dresser has an ideal curve in his neck why, why, if I had a straight neck, how can I tell you to do that? If I don't do rehab, why would I tell you to do rehab? If I don't get adjusted every week, why would I tell you to get adjusted every week? If, I'm a, if I smoke, I can't tell you not to smoke. Like you have to be congruent in what you do in your practice. And if you don't, that's when you're going to see problems with your practice and patient volume going down, 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 right? So what I'll do, I'll do that. And you have to make sure you set it up. that Their spouse has to be there. When their spouse is there, they can't give you the excuse, and we'll go over this in the next part, but they can't give you the excuse of, well, I have to talk to my husband. Great. Here, I'll leave you in the room. I'll be right back. You know, they're already there. We need to think about it. All right, how much time you need? You know, you just put them there. That way that cuts that right out. Plus, what Carolyn was saying, too, is after I went over that, she's like, I'm glad. She said, my husband does need to be here because he needs this, too. How in the world would we set it up? To where she comes in to lose weight, and now, before she even leaves, within 40 minutes of her being here, she's excited to come back to see her x-rays, and she scheduled her husband to get an exam before she goes over her x-rays and her findings with her. Yeah, and guess what type of patient she was? A, somebody from the newspaper, B, a referral, or C, Facebook. Now, one of those <laughs> is way better than the other two. Having a referral patient is way better. Yep. She came from a newspaper ad about weight loss workshop. That was it. Went online, looked, had a schedule, scheduled online, and came in. And this is another thing. You've got to be automated. Guys, if you, if you don't have a website, no one's going to know you. You've got to be kidding me. B, update your website. Schedule once is a, is a program I use, we use for our website, that they can go on and click schedule and schedule online and we get all their information. It's really easy. Check out, check out my, my, our personal website, the innatelife.com. It's the same thing as the Chiropractic Authority. Uh, has both, they both have the schedule one. But check out my innatelife.com. And see, they can go in there and look and say, hey, I'm going to get the weight loss exam. Bing, 29 bucks. And they schedule online. We get an email, and then we confirm it. It's pretty pretty easy. So she was a Facebook, I mean, a, uh, a newspaper ad. She comes in, and we rock her world on a day one. And she is super excited. So that's the process of the, of the first part of day one. Now, if you don't do that stuff, it's a it's a... Bad chance that you're going to close them on day two. You're not going to, your results are going to suck. So if you haven't trained on this, stop with this until you go to part two. Train on this, train on this, and train on this with your staff until you get it down. It may take, for some of you guys who are just phenomenal, may only take, you know, a few days of training. For some of you, it may take about 30, 60 days to review this because you, you have the wrong pieces in place in your office and doing the wrong stuff. So you've got to you've got to be the authority and to become the authority, you've got to be knowledgeable, passionate, and you've got to have the heart to want to change their life. And that's we are here. And because of that, people are attracted to us. Yep. So and you can't be afraid to to turn people away who aren't congruent with your practice too. Like you you can't be focused on their feelings and also focused on their results at the same time, right? Because there are a lot of people who, you know, if if you were going to the gym and you wanted to run it, like when you ran your marathon and stuff, like, was it fun? Like, if you were busting your ass. Like, I mean, if no one was there to push you or you didn't push yourself, like, you can't all be, like, friendly and just give them everything that they want. You have to tell them what they need. Like, your family, like, we had a, a there was a guy – that came in and I'm going over his x-rays and stuff with him. And I'm like, listen, like you have two little kids at home. I said, if their spine is out of alignment from X, Y, or Z birth, from learning how to walk, from riding their bike, from, you know, sitting in class all day, that's setting up the exact same thing that you have going on right now. Wouldn't it be nice to correct that for them before they grow up and have the same problems as you? 
I'm not worried about the dude saying, oh, well, Dr. Muir, you just want more money and more patients and blah, blah, blah. It's like, dude, I'm trying to help you save your kids a lot of problems. Because when I was a kid, I had a shit ton of problems. Sorry, I swear. I extended it the whole time. I didn't swear the whole time. And now I'm getting on a rant. But it's like, you know, I was super sick as a kid. I don't want to see your kids like that. It sucked. It was terrible. So I'm not doing it to make more money or to get more people in here and all this. I'm doing it to help you, to help our commun- community. I don't care if he likes me or not. I have to tell. I have to like myself when I go home. I have to look in the mirror and be like, Kyle, you were, you did what you were supposed to. You told him what you were supposed to. If he comes back, he comes back. If he, but if he does come back, you know he's bringing his kids back. Yeah. You know that's just what's going to happen. And if he doesn't, then he wasn't meant to be here anyway. He wasn't ready. Yeah, you you've got to be congruent. You've got to you've got to train on this, stocks. You got to train every day. Read, train, read, train, read, train, and and then it starts to become your office. You start to train. You know, so take this. I hope you take notes or go back, listen again, take notes, and start implementing some things. If you have any questions for us, go to the Chiropractic Authority dot com. Message us. Message us on Facebook. However, you want to get in touch with us. Um, just give us a buzz and we would love to reach out and help you in any way. So, Hey, until part two, it's Dr. Aaron Tressler. And this is Dr. Tom here. And we are the chiropractic authority. Thank you for listening to the chiropractic authority. We appreciate you and would love to hear your feedback. So if you're searching for the most complete philosophically based chiropractic and weight loss system on the planet, you need to head over to the chiropractic to start training today.